Okay, we're on the west side from right to left. We've got um, stucco has been patched before. Uh, seems like it's in okay condition. And the patchwork is held up pretty good. Um, the fascia board is broken at the peak. Uh, should be fixed. And we keep going. Stucco looks a lot worse than it is. This hairline cracks. Just need to be patched and retextured, which is part of the contract already and move down 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 and rafter tails rafter tails got a little bit of termite damage starter board has there's another rafter tail right over there but they're patchable and that's contract work also. This starter board here, um, it's in pretty bad shape, but I think we can patch her up. I don't think we need to tear that out either. So the west side, there's nothing to be, uh, except for that broken piece of fascia board, um, to be uh, an extra. And then we've got the north side which has visible termite damage. Pretty much the length of the area below the garage door, the roll-up garage door. There's some starter board. And it gets a little worse. And it gets a lot worse. And stays pretty darn bad. But with that being the extent of it, again, I think we can go ahead and patch her on up. Instead of ripping that out, it would uh, be a tough one because it's right in the middle or the upper half towards the home. And then we got some rafter tail damage here next to the one we've already replaced um, that is not going to be able to hold a patch. So that's one on the north side. And there's another one right there I think that's number five let's see what I got here I got number oh, do, 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 do. yeah four and five no those are the starter boards rafter tails five and ten from right to left need to be replaced then we roll down around the corner here we got starter board number four and a little bit of termite damage on that the third rafter tail and a little bit on the sixth board and some on the fifth and that's it until we get to this guy right here which is number eight should be replaced again termite damage um, Minor termite damage on the first starter board can be patched. I don't think we need to tear out any starter board below the siding or above the siding at the front, but we do have one rafter tail, one more rafter tail on the front. And then this area right here, we've got visible termite damage on the fascia board that's fairly newly installed and radio off and then uh, the extra wood that was that was installed to uh, box the end of the rafter tails in order for it to hold the fascia board uh, it was covered or sistered up as they say on either side with a with a square ended board so that it would hold the fascia but uh, then it has a bottom cap piece this additional wood is is really not gonna do the. I don't think is the answer. I think uh, 
what needs to be done is removing that along with since we have to replace the fascia I would get rid of this extra wood that was put on all these and uh, just use a, a single sister board a 2 by 4 uh, at the very top of each rafter tail um, to nail the new fascia board to I just think uh, because it's that extra wood is just trapping water moisture in between you know the new wood and what it's covering being the uh, existing rafter tail and it's just going to cause problems you've already got dry rot up in this corner here so these these additional boards I think we should just rip these off same with this right here making a fascia board here on this little piece and uh, covering the existing original gingerbread style fascia as you can see here uh, we just need to remove the gingerbread fascia and this uh, this outer piece of starter board they used um, because right here you can see the break it wasn't even caulked in what happens is the moisture is going to get in there it's going to get between the two boards and just rot them both out um, unless it's flashed properly but I think uh, just removing this board the gingerbread board and then putting a the correct fascia board in would alleviate all those problems and again here you have the uh, uh, surrounded rafter tail with this uh, additional wood and um, here is some dry rot and termite damage on the first starter board at the peak that piece of starter board obviously needs to be replaced it's almost half gone uh, but yeah I would just get rid of all this senseless trim here that was trying to hide trying to hide the gingerbread fascia here it is again on this end it's and here is our bee removal uh, professional carpentry patch here by the bee removers that is less than sexy we'll say uh, all this all these battens the smaller boards need to go and the little bit of uh, plank siding up in the peak there needs to get changed out so you've got one two three battens and all of that up in there <coughs> and I think the big portion of this siding since it's redwood we'd want to keep if at all possible uh, so I think once we get all these battens ripped off we might be able to strip whatever this product is they use to to uh, seal everything back together or to an attempt to make it watertight it just uh, it's a it's a product that I'm sure is great for what it was intended for but you can't manipulate it as far as sand it down or or uh, anything really to make it more attractive for the new paint job uh, and these boards are just destroyed from when they tore them out and then replaced them they're all cracked and messed up so that needs to be done but it's it's not going to be that extensive once we rip those battens off anyway continue on now we're on the uh, west or east side excuse me this uh, piece of fascia board is all good until right there about there and then it goes oh my goodness and it's about a 12 foot board that should be uh, removed and replaced with a new piece and then we've got some starter board up here in the peak that we uh, noticed on the original walk through but uh, thought we may be able to patch it I don't think that's going to be the case that piece needs to be uh, changed out um, there's some other minor ones on the other side here but those can be easily patched and the rest of the starter board and the fascia on that side is fine the stucco however uh, this side alone has uh, some serious issues as far as uh, retaining moisture or absorbing it up through the uh, the soil and 
the answer to this is going to be to install weep screed on just this side here up to the brick there all the way to the corner um, to uh, allow the wall to breathe I mean we could patch it again but it's it's obviously there's an issue so it needs to be dealt with correctly so it doesn't come back on you it's 33 feet like I said uh, and we'll just bust out approximately a foot off of the uh, concrete the flat work or the uh, the landscape which whatever's below it about a foot up from that uh, installed uh, FHA metal on the bottom 2x4 that makes up the wall and apply uh, uh, the moisture barrier tucking it under the existing paper for watershed replace any rotten uh, uh, lath as you can see this is all rusted out and it's missing in some areas and I'm sure that that's going to be the case the whole way it typically is when when you've got this issue and uh, we'll tie the the lath as well to the existing and uh, apply the three coats of mud s uh, scratch brown and texture to match and that'll resolve that problem and then we get around to the back side and not including the repairs we already made to the starter board there and the uh, four new posts for the overhang uh, it's okay so if it's any consolation there's one side of the house that doesn't require any additional repairs any hoop I hope this helps in uh, understanding what I've written down here.